having won away to Connacht the previous weekend. Scarlets went into this game knowing that the challenge would be even greater at the RDS. The Welsh side had recorded just one win versus Leinster in their previous 12 games in all competitions, but on the plus side, they'd only lost one Pro 12 match away from home so far this season. Leinster were looking for a sixth successive win in all competitions, and with eight Irish internationals in their starting lineup and Leo Cullen making a first start of the season, they were entitled to feel confident going into this encounter. Scarlets had a brief spell of early pressure without reward before Leinster moved into top gear early on. Ian Madigan got the ball rolling with a penalty from close range to make it 3-0. And that was soon followed by the first try of a very productive first half for the home side. After Luke Fitzgerald had initially threatened on the left-hand side, the ball reached Madigan. He spread it across to the right. Brendan Macken waltzed through the Scarlets' defence, leaving them flat-footed as he crossed over for an early score. Sharp play from the Irish side, and although Madigan missed the conversion, it was already 8-0 after just 10 minutes. It wasn't long before the incessant pressure from Leinster would pay further dividends. Their scrummage was wreaking havoc on the Scarlets' pack, and after the Welsh were adjudged to have collapsed the scrum just short of their own line, the referee ran under the post to award a penalty try. It left Madigan with a simple conversion, and the home side were coasting with a 15 points to nil lead midway through the first half. Leinster were in unstoppable form, and they extended their lead in the 27th minute when the recently capped Jack McGrath burrowed his way over the line from close range for his side's third try of the night. It took the TMO to confirm that the try was good, and when Madigan kicked the conversion, it was 22-0 with only 27 minutes gone. As the half drew towards a close, Scarlets finally put together a period of sustained pressure and as they peppered the Leinster line, Cullen saw yellow for persistent offside. He had ten minutes in the bin to look forward to, but Leinster's defence held strong, and they had a comfortable 22-0 half-time lead. With Leinster still down to 14, there was a chink of light for Scarlets into the second half. Scrum half, Gareth Davies found a little gap between Owen Redden and Madigan to get over for the try sharp play from the number nine and already his fifth try of the season. Unfortunately for Scarlets, Alan Thomas's conversion attempt was off target but at least they had points on the board trailing 22-5. Shortly after that Scarlets were temporarily reduced to 14 men when big number eight Sione Timane fell foul of the officials and saw yellow for this foot tackle on Lotte Takiri. The Tongan international can have no complaints. Then with Leinster on the attack, Scarlets managed to capitalise on a loose ball and so began the long charge downfield. Sub Jordan Williams with the delicious reverse pass. Adam Warren took it on before Fraser Clemo offered an outlet. It looked as though the break may have run out of steam when Jordan Williams was swallowed up, but they managed to recycle it once again and centre Gareth Maul dived over the line for a great score for the Welsh. That brought it back to 22-10, and when Thomas got the conversion, it was 22-12. That stung Leinster into action, and as the clock moved past 60 minutes, it was the alert Redden who landed a knockout blow, crossing over in the corner from close range to ensure the bonus point for Matt O'Connor's side. A bonus they deserved after the helter-skelter first half. Great entertainment for the large RDS crowd. Madigan converted to restore Leinster to a 29-12 lead. There was still time for Leinster to run in a fifth try after good work by Takiri in midfield. Gopperth picked it up before feeding fullback Zane Kirshner, who got over for his first Pro 12 try since joining Leinster. Madigan converted for 36-12. And Scarlets also got in in the act in injury time when centre Adam Warren skated over for his side's third try of the night. Some tired defending from the Leinster rear guard and a consolation score for the Welshmen. Thomas landed a fine conversion to leave a final score of 36-19.
With this bonus point victory, Leinster move back to second in the table. Scarlets remain sixth and have two matches against Claremont to come in the Heineken Cup. Final score at the RDS, Leinster 36, Scarlets 12.